Hey, it's Troy. Welcome to London Town, where I'm chilling out on this beautiful park bench before going off to meet a friend. And I just wanted to do a quick video about individuation, which I suppose is another way of saying self-actualization. I think this is really important. Uh, it's something I've touched upon in previous videos because what it's about, and individuation is a term which I believe was coined by Carl Jung, certainly it's a term that, that Jung used in his writing, which is about this idea of basically going along with your subconscious will. So whatever it is that deep inside that you actually want, it's doing that thing rather than doing the other stuff that maybe you're doing because society wants you to do it, but you're afraid to follow your true passion, if you like, if that makes sense. You know, I mean, the way that I see individuation or self-actualization is literally becoming yourself. But in order to become yourself, of course, you need to know yourself. And the difficulty that many of us have, many guys have, and women as well, is that we don't really know ourselves because too much other crap gets piled on top of who we really are from the media, from um, Netflix, films, music, books, uh, magazines, social media, blah, blah, blah. Um, our friends, our families, people around us, we get all of this stuff, all of these different influences piled on top of us. Plus, of course, very importantly, societal expectations as well, which are probably the most insidious of all. So we get all this stuff piled onto us and we forget or we can forget over the course of our lives who we actually are and what our our true motivation is but really how do you individuate how do you self-actualize unless you know who you are now of course what Jung's talking about really is a subconscious process so it's a process through which one achieves individuation or self-actualization uh, as a result of the the processes of the subconscious and you, you know you don't have to do anything because you end up getting led along there anyway uh, which is fine but why don't we think about being a little bit more proactive why don't we think about how we can do this but actually you know end up with an outcome that we want rather than one um, that ends up being foisted on us you know by forces almost beyond our control and it, it might take a lot longer as well that's the other thing I mean sometimes people do end up becoming individuated um, but it's really really late in life after they've made a lot of mistakes first so why not try to cut the bullcrap and get there more quickly by by doing it in an intentional and conscious way but as I said the difficulty um, is that a lot of people don't know what they actually want to do a lot of people don't know who they they really are to put it on a more existential level so how do you find out and this is my suggestion and I've certainly found this to be very useful. I know a lot of other people do as well. And this actually, I think I'm cribbing from James Altucher, who certainly talked about this in, I, I believe it's in Choose Yourself, but certainly James Altucher has talked about this in, in his work uh, more than once, I think. And what it is basically is you need to look back to childhood because here's the thing, right? What, what, the stuff that you did as a kid, almost before before you were self-conscious the kinds of things that you were just drawn to doing naturally those are the kinds of things that you really really like you know that was before you did things in order to try and impress other people that was before you know you went and did a law degree because it seemed like the right thing to do or you wanted to please your parents or whatever it is the things that you were drawn to as a kid have some real real basis deep in your personality and those are the things that you should you should go back to, you should rediscover and, and try to think whether there's a way that in your adult life you can follow those paths. So say it's something like, you know, for me writing, but maybe it's a sport, maybe it's a musical instrument, uh, maybe it's a game, something like chess that you're really, really good at, that you really loved. Maybe it's cooking, maybe it's something to do with fashion. You know, whatever it is, those things that you were drawn to initially as a child, those things are really important. I do, you know, you, you can't think, well, that was just childish stuff. I'm, I'm an adult now. I, I'm, you know, I need to go on some more serious things. There's nothing more serious than whatever you're drawn to naturally as a human being. You, you need to think, okay, so say as a kid, you were really into, I don't know, you're really into chess. 
Right, fine. So now you need to think, okay, well, I haven't played chess for years, but I loved it when I was a kid. That was all I wanted to do was to play chess with my, with my father and members of my family. So now you need to think, okay, so, so how can I bring that into my, day, in, into my life today? And it might just be as simple as, you know, taking up chess again. But, you know, alternatively, is there a way that you can, you can earn money from chess? Could you start a chess blog? Could you start a chess YouTube channel? Could you, you know, share chess problems with your followers every day and then provide solutions and create a community around it? You know, um, you need to start thinking creatively about the stuff that you liked when you were very very young and think about how that can be fused with skills that you've acquired since so maybe you know getting good with business getting good with marketing getting good at coding building websites or something um, and bring those things together and give it a go because what you will find and what I've certainly found is that when you are on your true path the true path towards individuation you will be happier and you will be more effective as a human being and you will be better company than if you're not. So I highly recommend this process. I think everybody should do it. Everybody should take a bit of time just to, to think back, to consider what you were into as a kid and to see whether there's a way that you can bring that into your present existence. I really recommend you do it. Let me know how it goes and good luck with it but it really is the key because if you're going to get to where you want to get to first of all you've got to establish the roadmap all right i'm going to leave it there for today however please hit subscribe please hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming up i'm going to start doing some live streaming soon so you want to get on board for that uh do sign up for my daily email five times a week free articles going to your inbox link below and do and do get hold of a copy of renegade dating blueprint which is 10 books of mine as pdfs in a digital bundle instant download for just 39 dollars includes things like still in the game 50 shades of game uh how to be an arsehole and others uh just 39 dollars link below do get on board before i have to revise that incredibly competitive price i'll see you again very soon bye bye